Okay, today I thought we'd start a five-part uh, video on the rad robots because there's five different rad robots. Started in 1998. We're going to check that in case I don't remember right. And the camera is going to be a long ways away from me. Let me see if I can get this where I might be able to see the viewfinder and what I'm doing. So this one down here crawling around on my hands and knees in the freezing cold just for you guys. This is uh, rad number one, the first one they made, and they didn't call it rad one because I don't think they knew they were going to be making more at that point. 1998 Toy Max. Uh, right down here, if we can get the reflections where they show up on the screen. And uh, the way these robots work is they wanted you to buy separately a NICAD battery and charger, 6 volt NICAD battery and charger. I wonder if this is dated. Let me see. So I noticed, no. Notice it had the picture of the robot in question. Now I have a second battery that I was already unboxed, and this has got the head of the RAD. 3 and RAD 4. Actually, not the RAD 3 because the RAD 3 runs on C cells, but the RAD 4. And this is what the charger looks like when it's out of the box. And there's a release button. And you would shove this in when it's plugged into the wall. And the little red light comes on. It's supposed to be done charging in four hours. If you leave it in there longer than that, everything starts getting pretty hot. <laughs> so I don't suggest to leave it in there longer than that. So they, uh, I want you to put that battery in the robot. There's a slot here in the back. And you take the battery and you push it in like that. Now there's a switch on the very bottom. That's your main power switch. And there's also a switch for the treads, high and low speed, that you manually can set. There's a, a little tray that you can put in the front in case you want to carry stuff with it. Then there's the remote. The remote uh, requires one 9 volt battery and here on the back there's a shift button and a fire button and what they're referring to there are these missiles in his chest and they're very powerful. They actually hurt if they hit you. They, they could put an eye out. No joke. Um, arms open, arms close. Oh, it's your joystick for the treads, forward, backward, forward, backward for your left and right treads. A talk button, if you push that, then the microphone, you can send your voice through the robot. Waist, up and waist down, bending at the waist. Basically, that's the only way that you could steer whether the rockets are going up in the air or down in the air. Of course, you use your treads to uh, drive everything else around. And let's see, before we turn it on... Here's some of the paperwork that comes with it. Because actually none of these have ever been run. In fact, none of those have been run. I have put the battery in this one just before I turned the camera on to make sure it worked, and it did. We're going to be exploring all these together. I'm not going to bother to pre-test the others. We'll just find out whether they work after whatever it's been, 24 years, I guess, on, on this one. So you get kind of a warranty card kind of a thing and a, that you can mail back in. Had a 90 day warranty at the time. Um, a special thing that, hey, if you're having trouble, call this number, don't return it to the store. And then the actual instruction sheet for the RAD. Which, if you need any of this info, you can pause it. It talks about some of the things that I've just covered. It's your high and low speed. And over on this side, of course, we're talking about the remote. Troubleshooting guide, I guess. And the back. Shows it has an accessory drawer, 
uh, the handle on the back of the head for picking it up and carrying it. And all that good stuff. And all of that and the rockets were in this plastic bag that I opened up for the first time ever just for this video. So they're going to go back in the bag, except for the rockets. They're going to end up getting shot and uh, hopefully I'll find where they go because they have some wicked powerful springs behind those uh, Nerf type rockets. They really, they really go. I don't know whether we should uh, look at the box. We'll look at the box after we've played with the robot. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the uh, transmitter switch on. It has a little switch there. There's no LEDs on it to tell you whether it's on or not. And then on the bottom of the robot there's that switch I told you about. Let's hit that. So that was the system check. Picking up some audio static. Let's try pushing the talk button. Test, 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 one, two, test, one, two. Okay, that's there. Um, what, are, what else? Let's um, waste up, waste down. Turn the weight down. Let's back the robot up a little so he's more completely in the picture. Like that. Then let's, um, let's fire. And I should be standing where they'll hit me so I don't have to chase them. Ooh, baby. Okay, I can see them all. We didn't lose them. So then as far as driving the thing, you've got the sticks like we talked about. I push them both forward. It'll go forward. And turn it a little bit. Now we have the uh, arms open and arms closed. Let's close them all around. And arms up and down. We're here somewhere. Oh, that's the body up and down. That's right. Well, we kind of already did that. Let's see how far down it goes. That's not bad. I mean, it goes all the way to the floor. You could actually pick something up. You get the idea. You can drive it around, you can open and close the arms, you can you can talk through it, you can fire the missiles. I don't know, one word you want, right? So let's call that, uh, well no, let's go ahead and look at the box. We've got everything here, shut off the remote, let's shut off the static field. Uh, where's that switch? The static heat robot. It could even be the battery for all I know. I mean, it's, it's over 20 years old and it's an iPad. Who knows? Um, let's see if there's anything on this box that's of interest that you haven't already seen. You get so close that you can't, can't see anything, but it's a huge box. Imagine not very many people probably save the boxes. It's a real pain in the ass when they're this big to try to keep them minty and save them. Okay, I think we've been around the box. Let's take this is the top of the box. Like so. So in the next video, we'll move on to the Rad 2. 
And there's actually two Rad 2s. There's a Rad 2 SE Special Edition and just the regular Rad 2.